Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today in our Back to Basics episode we will talk about System Restore which is a great way to actually fix a problem or any unusual things that might be happening in your computer or maybe you've played around with settings you're not really happy with what's changed well you can actually undo all of that and it's quite easy to use for pretty much everybody. Now, your computer in Windows 8, like Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP, incorporates something that a lot of people don't know exists, and it's called System Restore. It's basically a image of your system at a certain point uh, in time and date on your computer, and usually the System Restore will have several days that you can actually go back in time to fix or change something or go back to what your PC was at a certain date. Uh, it works pretty much with uh, any type of settings you might have changed and you don't have to actually put back. Uh, it will uh, fix pretty much any problem with uh, new software or apps that you might have installed and uh, it even fixes some problems with some viruses and malware that you might have installed also. But on the virus and malware side, it's um, not always good because especially with viruses, a lot of the viruses will tend to infect the system restore points so that when you actually restore, it's going to reinstall or restore the virus also. So how do you go to system restore? Uh, simply go to your start menu and click the search or you can also if you're a desktop user go into the charms bar on the right side of your screen click search type restore and here you'll see create a restore point and you'll click on that actually create a restore point and here you see in this system properties system restore just click system restore and here is going to show you system restore now there are two things you can do you can use the recommended restore so if there's something wrong with your computer it actually has restore points that are um, done regularly on your computer you can choose the recommended restore if it is before your problem and that's the thing that you need to know when did the problem or when did the change start to know how far back you need to go because of course you'll want to choose a point that is before the problem that you have if the recommended restore is not the one you're looking for then you'll click choose a different restore point and you'll click next and here you have some restore points but you can also put a little check mark at the bottom that says show more restore points and this is going to give you more restore points as you see here we are February 24 today and there are some restore points for 22 uh, 14 February 10th and February 4th so I can go up to 20 days before usually the restore points on your computer are done most of the time when a change is done. So for example, you notice that Windows updates will create restore points. Why? Because unfortunately it does happen that a Windows update actually creates a problem. So by creating a restore point, you can actually go back before the problem or before the restore point actually created some kind of flaw in your uh, Windows install. So you choose the date that is as close as you want but before the problem um, arrived and why don't you want to go too far back is that the farther away you go the more you'll lose uh, settings and programs that you've installed restore points do not touch anything that are pictures or documents in your computer but they will touch on programs they will also touch apps so it means that for example if I want to restore and I've installed something on the 22nd or on let's go a little further back let's say I've installed a program on the 14th which is this restore point here um, 
if I don't want to lose that program, well, I'll restore on the 22nd because I don't want to go too far back and risk losing that piece of software. If you choose really the uh, earliest point that you have there, well, what's going to happen is that you're going to lose every program and apps, every updates that's been installed from the date you are and the time that you choose in the Windows update. So uh, make sure that you choose as close as possible to the actual time that you are, but before the problem arises. Because if you, um, you know, let's say my problem occurred on for the 14th of February, if I restore to the 22nd, it didn't fix anything because the problem was there. It was there since the 14th. So in this case, if my problem occurred on the 14th, I would go to the 10th, which is the closest point I have that is before uh, the actual problem. So System Restore is really, really fantastic for that. Another thing that System Restore is nice for is creating a restore point. So when you are on System Restore, uh, you can actually go when you're on this system properties window at create, which is create a restore point now for the drives that have system protection turned on. Now you click create and what it does, you can actually give it a name. So for example, let's say you're about to install a new antivirus and you want to make sure that in case something goes wrong, you can actually go back before then you'll say, okay, uh, before antivirus, install and you'll create that point which means that now it's creating a restore point and you'll be able to install you know whatever software you need to install or whatever uh, thing you might want to try on your system at least you'll know that you can restore to that point that you just created before maybe you created you know mayhem across your system because of uh, anything that you've changed uh, system restore is also very very good at re, you know changing back to normal settings you've changed so if you're you know the kind of uh, guy that tweaks a lot it's sys windows install you might actually sometimes change some settings that create problems in windows well system restore will actually help you with that if you've changed too many settings, you don't know which ones you need to put back, you can actually use the system restore to go back to the settings that were before. So um, system restore is very, very powerful. And uh, I can say that system restore, um, although I use it less today, um, I still use it a lot. And at some point, I'd say that one in I'd, close to 50% of the problems that I've seen on PCs uh, were probably fixed by going back in time with System Restore uh, to a date where everything was okay. So uh, System Restore, a great and powerful features uh, in Windows and a lot of people don't know that it exists. And uh, it is unfortunate because um, a lot of people, you know, I would say that in all of my clients that I go to, because I'm a tech guy, uh, I'd say that at least 35 to 40 percent of the problems that I see would be fixed with System Restore if the person knew that it existed in their computers. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe a problem that I can help you with, or you know, there's a lot of people I've seen helping others in the uh, community here on my channel, which is pretty cool. Uh, why not? And we'll try to help you with your problems. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.